These are the worst sets of 2022. Now, before I begin my little top five list of the worst sets of 2022, I just want to put it out there. This is my opinion and yours might be different, but that is okay. No, seriously, it's okay. This is a purely subjective list. You know, this is just my opinions that I want to share with you guys. Maybe you'll agree, maybe you'll disagree, but I guess that's what the comment section is for. It isn't really in any particular order, but this is just a kind of, you know, it's a collective. So it's a more of a list of five rather than a top five. I'll let you decide which one is the worst set of all. So the first one we're going to start off with is the Hulkbuster. Now I know there's been lots of coverage on this set already and loads of people have already expressed their distaste for it because it's just how how, how did they get it so wrong at 475 pounds in the uk or 550 dollars you'd think right this is going to be the ultimate collector set for marvel and hulkbuster fans we need to get this right and and we just didn't you know i don't need to go over do i need to go over the points of why it's just bad i mean just look at the thing physically that's what I'm doing because I don't own it. Maybe it is a pleasurable build. It might be. I don't know because I'm not going to spend £475 to find out. I'm just going to look at it and, you know, based off other people's reviews and things, I don't like it. But hey, if you do, that's fair enough to you. But I think the new Hogbuster set coming out in 2023, well, this year, uh, I think around £45. Yeah, that one's much better. It's much more accurate, which is weird to say considering the such, you know, the size difference between the two. It's crazy. That's why I think the Hogbuster from 2022 is one of the worst sets. But it was released only recently in the 4th of November and it is currently on sale. It's not retiring at the moment, but hey, with the poor performance, I'm judging by the sale from LEGO themselves, which they don't do often, that maybe it isn't performing too well, which directly leads me on to my next set on this list, Table Football. I'm not going to get it. This is an idea set. The original fan submission was great. I know the designers of the official LEGO model did explain why there are certain technical aspects that they couldn't get right or they did try to make a bigger one, but it just didn't work in the end. So they went for this really small, I wouldn't call it table football, I'd call it, I don't know. It's a very small set. It's very clunky and it's like £300 or something like that, 200 maybe. Let's have a look. Let's double check the price. £215 or $250, but again, it's currently on sale and they go for around £150, so I think that's rather telling about how this is doing performance-wise. Maybe it's fun, but I don't know. It's mostly a minifigure accessory pack if you think about how many you get and all the extra parts, which I think is one of the highlights of this set. It's great, especially with some of the new inclusions, the different skin tones and things like that. I think that's great. It's long overdue. Just too bad it came in a set like this. Okay, now time for another rather large set it is a themed one this year and that's the hogwarts express collector's edition yes we all remember the rumors of a 18 plus style hogwarts express coming out i think oh yes we can finally get a good lego steam train just like the emerald knight no we didn't get that sure it's lovely and very detailed but the scale i think is its biggest downfall it should have been minifigure scale yes you can put minifigures in it i suppose does that make it minifigure scale maybe but or oh, minifigure compatible or at least compatible with lego's train tracks because this comes on a nice display stand and that's it you can't put it on a track i think that's just such a missed opportunity and what's this 430 pounds 500 dollars or 500 euros yeah i think i'm gonna skip this one as well i do own the 2018 version of the hogwarts express again one of the best hogwarts express still not perfect it is kind of short so it needs to be more longer and i think the real train is more of a darker red than lego go for this brighter red but anyway we won't go into the colors right now just subjectively speaking just looking at the pictures and from what i've seen from videos and things I, I don't know i love the inclusion of all the minifigures don't get me wrong it's great you can recreate the different scenes from the train for the movies and throughout the years the platform build is you know it's nice but there's not much to it and you know the, you kind of the way you display it, you kind of either cover up the platform or you cover up a bit of the train, but hey, if you own this set and you found a way to make it look great, then good on you, you know, I applaud that. I just wish it was a bit smaller so it could go on the tracks and then maybe I probably would have bought it because I like Lego trains, I like Lego steam trains, bam, put the two together, this could have been the next best one, but it just missed the mark in my opinion. <sighs> okay, so from the big sets, we go down to one that's quite a bit smaller. And from Fantasy of Harry Potter to the sci-fi of Star Wars, we've got Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader. I'm going to let you guess what I think is wrong with this set. 
three, two, one. Quick, tell me in the comments. Done that? Good. Okay, well, what is this? You get four minifigures, which are pretty nice. Don't get me wrong. I like the minifigures. But on what? A grey base plate almost? Well, it's not just a base plate, is it? Okay, okay. Don't come at me in the comments. It's just like a little stage, you know, with some extra little details in the corners. Right. That doesn't seem too bad, but then let's look at the price. £45, $50, and €50 Euros for four minifigures on a pile of grey bricks. Yeah, I think if this was half price, £20? Hmm, is that pushing it for four minifigures for Star Wars? Probably, okay. Let's say £25, $30 max. I think that seems good. Maybe you can pick it up on a sale for that price, but I think that should have been the starting price. And that's my main issue with this. It's just so plain and... Like, yes, it's nice to have a little area where you can actually play, but what, you know, what are you playing with? The figures? Pew, pew, Star Wars. Yeah, sword fight. Let's have some destructible terrain. You know, let's have something blow up. Let's have something fall down. Let's give it just something a bit more. But I don't know. That's just me looking at it for what I see. What do I see? A grey slab with Darth Vader on it. You know, like I said, it could be fine if it was cheaper. That's all. Okay, and finally, it's the most dramatic set name ever for a set that is so disappointing. Is it really a set? Hmm. That's right, I'm talking about 40525 Endgame Battle. It sounds dramatic. It's Marvel. It's Avengers. It's Thor, Valkyrie, Korg, and this poor excuse for Meek. And what's this? A little... Chitari little figure. Okay, he's pretty detailed. Could have done with some leg printing, but I'll let that slide since most of these, except, or Cole gets leg printing, but Thor and Valkyrie don't. Okay, where's the battle? So we got, was it four against one? Doesn't seem like a fair fight to me. I know we want the good guys to win, but for something as dramatic as end game battle, you'd think there'd be more of a end game battle here. And what is that? Poor excuse for Meek. I know he's a hard guy to replicate in Lego, but this just isn't it. He's like a head on some flowers and a little mech suit. Ah, oh, that's... If I had that, I'd part that out instantly. That's just a sad excuse for a figure. And they actually count him as a minifigure as well. Ah... Uh, yeah, that's just... I almost feel sorry for him, really. It all looks okay. I like the hairpiece. Valkyrie? Mm, sure, why not? And Korg is Korg. We all love Korg. But... Endgame battle? No, more like... Thor and friends. You know, they should have called it that because that's pretty much what it is. Yeah, so um, a little underwhelming. But it was pretty cheap at £13.49, $15 and €15. Euros. Hmm. Star Wars Battle Packs used to be that price and you get a bigger terrain build and the same amount of figures. Although, as we all know, Star Wars Battle Packs are now like $20 and £20. And I don't know. I would have paid a little bit more if they had like a little, I don't know, just something else to it. So it's more like an endgame battle. Or at least have an extra bad guy minifigure. Just to even it out slightly. But that's just me. Those are all my opinions on the worst sets of 2022. Which one do you think is the worst? Tell me in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. I'm going to let you decide what you think. Or... Okay, so I'm going to let you guess what you think. No. Okay, so I'm going to guess... <laughs> no.